Keith, the most open-ended question I'll ever ask. Seven days in, what's it been like? Non-stop, which I expected. Lots to think about, lots to do. And it's a case of trying to prioritise what's the most important thing for that day almost. So trying to plan for the next week, the next month, January window. The most important thing was to try and pick the bones out of Northampton's performance. Come in on Monday and uh, make sure the players understand how I work and how I see the game. So there was a reflection, we watched the video, there was some clips of some good stuff and there was some clips of stuff we need to work on. But that would always be the case whether we win, draw or lose. So I, I never change in that respect on the review. It's never, it's never personal with a player and then anything that was personal would be like a one-to-one. -one. So they understand that and it's important they, they trust in what I'm saying to them even if I'm criticising that I'm doing it for the right reasons and that's the culture that I'm not sure whether they understand yet but they will. So it's important that they understand, they trust me that the things I'm saying and doing is to try and help them become better players and obviously us a better team. Really interesting after the game to hear you say that nothing was a surprise that you saw the way that they started, the way that they went into the shells a little bit, pretty much what you expected. Well, they're all the signs of a, of a team that's not won many games um, and they're lacking a little bit of confidence and belief. So all the things that they showed, I've seen before and I'll, you wouldn't expect any difference. I mean, when you're not on a great run and things aren't going your way and you go a goal down, it has a big impact on you. Now, we've got to try and snap out of that. I've got to try and help them do that. And like I say, it's, they're not words. It, the, the only way you can do that is by working on the training pitch, as we've done all week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, give them some belief and say, and so they think, well, okay, yeah, I can see what we're trying to do there. It ain't going to be perfect in a week, but if there's, if there's better signs on Saturday, hopefully that's enough to win the game. And then you start again the following week and then improve again. And that's, that's the system and that's the way you have to work. So it's not going to be a quick fix. It wasn't like I was going to come in for two days and walk in and say, right, we're full of confidence. Now we're going to play well. It, that doesn't happen. But um, the way we want to work will take time, but winning games obviously increases the, the tempo of the success. You mentioned your small steps, how important is this three-day block that you've had to train with the boys and work closely with them? How, how important has that step been for you? Normally it would be, when we do these three-day blocks, it would be um, certainly for the fitness aspect of the, of the lads. And I'm not saying we, we just run them, we don't do that, there's is, is a, is a science behind what we do. but certainly the, the physical output increases over these three days but I've realised that the main thing really was to get information into them so I've come away a little bit from how much fitness work we've done to more how much information I can get into them and, and an understanding of what we're trying to do so we've done a lot of work this week on us in possession um, because we need to be better calmer uh, more purposeful, more of an understanding of what we're trying to do when we have the ball. Now, I know that probably sounds silly after conceding three goals, but when you analyse the, the goals, they, they were tough because there wasn't a lot wrong at times with the team. But that's what happens when you're you're struggling. You tend to get. I thought the, um, the I thought it was a definite foul on Zach before they broke on us. Now after that, there was things we need to improve on, but. He, the lad fouls Zach, that, that's a free kick um, and then we, we give a second goal as a poor goal and then the third one's not a penalty. I mean I've seen it now, it, it's just a poor decision so um, but yeah we, we've moved on from that now. I, I've looked at it, yeah okay we've got to do this better but we've definitely hopefully going to have more possession on Saturday and we've got to be more effective and without doubt I've really tried to work hard with trying to get the best out of our front men because at the moment we've got you could say four maybe five front men um, that need as a group we need an understanding of getting the best out of them. Have you seen that understanding grow I suppose trust as well trusting what you're telling them and what it's going to bring if they do what you ask them to do is, is that there now? Um, not yet no I wouldn't say it is 
because we've not played a game and until you've played a game and and hopefully it works then you get more of a trust and belief in what you're doing but I've also looked and me and the staff that looked at the the players we've got and, and you've got to try and get the best out of them so what are they and I've spoke to the players individually what's your strength what are you going to bring to this team that gets you in the in the starting 11 and then whatever that is we've got to try and mould the, the team's way of playing so uh, we've really, I've really studied the front players, trying to think of the best way of getting the best out of them, and that's what we've worked on this week. And something like Saturday, an FA Cup tie, the energy will be there anyway. Everybody's energised because of what it is. Hopefully, that could be the spark. Yeah, it, I, I think it's. Well, listen, it's only a good game if we perform and hopefully win the game, isn't it? So it is an opportunity for us. You haven't got the pressure of the league, people asking the same questions. Uh, it's, it's like a clean slate, really. So, but the pressure then mounts because you've got Horsham coming to us that have got nothing to lose, and everyone's expecting us to win. So that's the different pressure we've got on Saturday, and we've got to embrace that. I mean, we, I want us to be. We're a football league club, and that's the way you, you have to walk out onto that pitch and say, "Yeah, we respect what Horsham have done to get to here, but we are a football league club, and your football league players." go out there and show it and be proud and not be timid or um, afraid of the occasion and you've got to embrace it I mean, it's an FA Cup I mean I've been to an FA Cup final as an assistant manager so I know what it's like and, I, and I've been to rounds before that and it, it's brilliant it's, it's history you're making so the lads need to understand that that they could be making their own little bit of history can't they so it's just a, a way of trying to say to them like come on in this is the next game let's let's really go for it and enjoy it and um, hopefully get the right result interesting to hear you say that it's a competition that's had its detractors in in recent seasons but recent years is it still the magic of the FA Cup as far as you're concerned for me it's 100 percent yeah and, and I know the um, you could say the Premier League teams now they don't disrespect it but they don't always play their strongest teams in the early rounds because they've got Certainly the ones in the European competitions, they have to prioritise, don't they? Um, and the financial gains for the Premier League teams aren't by winning the FA Cup, are they? Um, but I know, having been to the final, what an occasion that is. Not just for the players, but for the fans. I mean, the build-up to it is brilliant. But every round's like that. The further you go, the more excitement you get. The fans get excited, they're looking for when's the draw who are we going to get all of that is you can't ignore that and and you shouldn't because the history of the FA Cup is the best competition in the world for me so we want to go as far as we can and if we do well in the Cup it will give us more confidence going into the league